Hi folks, Alex and Alex here um, with Mind Triumph videos. Today I have my son on the videos and we are going to talk about money, ego and what do a 10 year old think about those two topics, money and material things, right? Yes. We're going to talk about material things, how it connects to the ego through the eyes of this awesome 10 year old. So um, thanks for being on this 15 minutes Alex. Um, my awesome son. Um, so time is clicking. We've got 15 minutes, the usual as every weekend. We've got a piece of fruit before we start because while we are smelling the piece of fruit, as I always say, or something nice, it could be a flower or anything you enjoy, it's a real good shortcut to get you right into the present moment. Because while the brain is processing the smell, <sighs> you cannot be thinking. Which means you're present because the thoughts the noise in here stops. So I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna ask Alex, <clears throat> the 10 year old um, boy here in our conversation, what does money mean to a 10 year old? First of all, right, let's just talk about money. Not all the material things, just money. What do they mean to a 10 year old kid? Um, the source of value because kids. Most kids still, at any age, just still love toys, so a resource? To get toys? Yeah. A resource to get toys? Yes. Okay. That's fair. So, money, it gets you, helps you get things you want. And as a child... Most, toys. most things. Most things. What is it, what, what, what would money not get you? Joy, love, and happiness, and all those other things. Okay, that so I money do. doesn't get you joy, love, and happiness. Why? And what does? Um, what does is maybe uh, like talking with people, talking about what your feelings are like, or um, having fun together with friends you usually have fun with. Okay, being social? Yeah, being social. And... <clears throat> You know, maybe taking some deep breaths when you feel just uncomfortable or just not really happy at the moment, right? Do you do that? Do you take breaths sometimes? Oh yeah, I could. I do that when I don't sleep because I'm always thinking about things. And then breathing helps you. Yeah, breathing actually does help me. Okay, so but there are people getting back to money doesn't get you joy and happiness and love, but there are a lot of people that don't have money and they also don't seem happy, joyful and loving. So not having money doesn't get you those things necessarily either. Well right? money or no, is I don't know, maybe like money is like a big part and not a big part. Because the big part is people think that it can give you all of those things but it doesn't. Although it gets you all these things, that eventually when you die are useless. Okay, so if I'm understanding you correctly, money, pro like, he promises you that if you have money, you get those things, a lot of material things, let's say, right? Yeah. Anything you think you want to get, to make you happy and joyful. But it's not true. It doesn't work that way. When you get them, it's not necessarily going to make you happy. Is that is that what you're saying? Or yeah. Not? Right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm saying, yeah. But okay, as a kid, if you have money and you buy toys, Aren't you happy? Yeah, we're well, happy when you buy them, but once you notice you're like, once you notice you literally just wasted money on something that you're probably gonna sell or like give away for less or free, you okay. know? So it's just but wasting did, money, right? Didn't they? True, they wasted. So adults might think so. It's like, oh, kid or son, no. my kids, why are you buying toys all the time? When you, when you look at a perspective though, it makes sense. Okay, so while you had the toy, you bought it, mm -hmm. before you gave it away or sell it for less and lose money, let's just say that way, mm -hmm. didn't it make you happy while you had it, while you enjoyed it? Was there no part where you... Well, well yeah, well, I guess that is when the joy comes in, but it doesn't really, it's not there for a long time. You're only going to feel joyful if it's something you feel passionate or like you love collecting these toys and like give them away to like the people who don't have toys or, or like Ah, okay, so that's a different one. If you use money to buy toys to, to to give to those who don't have? Uh, yeah, Is that donating. 
donating. Okay. okay, so it's interesting. You want the toy, right? And we want things. And it's there is a part where you enjoy them, right? Like getting it. It's it, yeah. there is a thrill. Yeah. There is an excitement, right? Yeah. We cannot deny that. We all have it. Um, but you have it, and then something is missing. It's not. It's it doesn't bring you that joy and happiness that you want. But okay, so getting back to the money, though, money and in in general, the conversation around money is always been a hot topic. Is it important? Is it not important? Should you have a lot of money? Should you fight or work hard to gain a lot of money? Is it going to make you better, uh, more fulfilled, etc.? Um, why is it this? Why is this such a hot topic, money? Why? Why? What? What should it be? What should money be? Why is it a hot topic and everybody wants to have a lot of money? In your in your opinion, why is money so um, popular as a topic? Let's just say. It's because it's a source that gets us food, water, and everything to live. Like, this, this apartment that we're in right now is, literally, if you could say it, it's made of money because you gave money to own this apartment. And uh, you got to pay the bills and stuff, so that's what makes up your life. So, somebody, I don't know who has, you know, said that, Money is not going to be sourced instead of trading things around. Ah, when if we if we're in a trading uh, situation yeah. where you barter things, right? Mm -hmm. You get and you give. Um, okay, so are you getting to the point where money is an exchange used as an exchange? Then is that all all what money is? Like you want to have an apartment, you give money to have an apartment. Oh, here's the thing: when you give them money, that's how work works. You give them money. You buy something, yeah, sort of exchange. You buy mm -hmm. something, you use it, you get it, you finish using it. Maybe you can sell it, give it away, or you know, give it back to the store. And, and there's also another thing you can do with money. You can refund sometimes. You can refund in what way? Well, like, if if for example you don't like this food and it's like a buffet, or like you spent a lot of money on it. They might give you like a new plate or like, yeah. or like you, uh, how much money, well, okay, let's make it this way. Pretend you're eating food, mm -hmm. you're full, mm -hmm. and like, it's only like about half of the plate is finished. Mm -hmm. They'll give you, probably if it's a buffet, you can ask them back for some money, because like buffet are those places where... Can you get some money back? I'm no, not sure no, buffet, like, but... when you pay a lot of money, those... Like those places, like ah, maybe the are places. Yeah. I don't know, but and maybe, then maybe. they will give you a refund. Ah, yeah. Okay, so money can be refunded. Yes, that's that's true. How much money should we have, though? Like, what what's the like you said? Money. You talked about money being as an exchange. You get things with it, right? Mm -hmm. You work and you get paid. Yes. But how much money should a person have in life? Is there a sum? Is there like if everybody has two thousand dollars or five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars a month or well, what? Well, two thousand isn't even enough to get yourself. No, it's not. Here it's not, but in some parts of the world it might be, right? And that's another question. Mm -hmm. Why is it more expensive here in Canada than, let's say, compared to um, Morocco, for example? It comes to my mind or Mexico. Here is very expensive, especially uh, apartments it's, and homes. It's because, like you know, apartments. Um, apartments are cheap places like they're, they're they are expensive but compared to a house it's very cheap compared That's, to home yes but yeah. why different countries have different prices um I don't know cuz like in China they use yuan and then mm, there's different currencies yeah yeah there's different currencies and different currencies can equal different amounts like Let's see, let's the say cents, cents versus a paper bill. If you were to give five cents, uh, five dollars worth of cents, would anybody like? They don't want it in cents. Uh, yeah. So like a lot of people. <gasps> well, we're getting back to. Like China, you know, in China, um, China is like, I don't know, like double the money, because the value of the, the money. value of the, the money of the is money. less. Yes, it's in, that's a different question. Uh, but what I was asking for is why certain things, let's say home or um, food, 
is cheaper in some countries than it is in others? Well, that's... that's Maybe it's a, it is a bigger question, but the, <laughs> the first question I asked you was how much money should we have? Um, is there an amount of money that will make us give us food, etc. and then some pleasure for like fun, I mean, right? How, how do we say what's the amount of money that makes you just enough happy? Well, there isn't... Well, like I said before, money doesn't really bring you happiness, but like for that moment, it can... Um, it bring you experiences, maybe? Yeah, but there isn't really a certain type. Is it depends on what you enjoy. If you what you enjoy is very expensive, ah, then yeah, you need more money. there's a higher price. Okay. Then if you what what you enjoy is like cheaper, then yeah, you need lower price. How are how is money connected to the human ego? Uh, money is connected to human ego because everybody wants a lot and like they want more and more of money because they can't stop getting money because they want to have their joy and happiness. And so, because they think more money brings you more happiness? Well, yeah, because the ego tells you you should get this money and you should buy this stuff which will make you happy for like, however, whenever you use it or like, but what if for you, like three minutes or something. And if you don't have any of these things, are you going to be happy? Because the ego says that, yes, you well, will there, not. Well, there, there are different things that make you happy. Like, it, it could not be money. So if I understand you correctly, you need money for basic things like you want to, you know, for food and where to sleep and necessities, right? Yes, yes. But it's not all you need. After that, there's other things you said about social interactions, spend time with friends and people you like, right? That brings you joy. Did that? Is that correct or? Ye okay. Yes. What that's... else can people do if if ego always tells you get more money? That's the answer. The ego gives you more money, more happiness. We know that's not true, mm -hmm. meaning there is some truth in it to get things and they make you somewhat happy. But what else can you do on top and beyond that that actually makes you happy? You talked about social life. Anything else? That comes like to more happy. Yeah, to be to be happy as a human on this planet. If it isn't what the ego tells us, which is money, 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 have, have, have. What else? What is something that uh, is not money that makes you happy? Um, something that's not money that makes you happy. Well, money doesn't really make you ha happy a lot, but uh, a lot of things make you happy. Like the fact, the fact that you just like played with your friends, you had a good time, and yeah, you're having fun. You're having like a blast. You just had like a water fight or something, or you went to like a trampoline park or something. And playing. Yeah, that's so what playing. brings you happiness. Playing. Yeah, sometimes all you need to do is just have some time and... But adults yeah. don't do that anymore. Why don't they? Grown-ups don't play like kids. Uh, so how do they yes, cause, How cause, do they bring happiness to their life and joy? Um, well, profit. Profit? So get back to money. Get back to money. Yeah, well, it's because you need money to live, right? And then the older you are, the more food you need to, like... Yeah, because yeah, really? your stomach's gotten bigger, you need <laughs> more energy is... to move yourself, <laughs> you're bigger. Yeah, yeah. Right? And like... you're, you're, but the stomach gets bigger, that's a good one, because we get overweight. That means the food is not good, or we eat too much. It's a different topic though, because we can talk about that. But the money topic is interesting, because you seem to think that money doesn't bring you happiness. It's interesting, what other than your friends think, the same, or not? Well, I've never asked them before. This is not a topic you talk about? Yeah, I don't... Yeah. Okay. I just like... I have a lot of things just stored in my mind. Just like... It's a good, it's a good place to talk about. Opinions and stuff. It's a good place to talk about them. Yeah. Okay. But I'm assuming, yes, uh, it does bring them happiness because they're kids. But I bet you if you were to tell them this, um, they would have their different side of view. Like, they have a different point of view. Oh, they, oh everybody has a different point of view. That's for sure. Um, so, it's interesting that you haven't talked about about money with other kids but I actually it's not interesting because you're 10 years old there's a lot more other things to talk about yeah. compared to do you believe that when you are let's say 20 30 or 40 years like late in life at some point there'll be no money and there'll be a, a, a digital coins digital currency like a different currency yeah. like you've talked about no we haven't but people talk about well, Bitcoin, still so. currency doesn't really change true so it's the, if it's paper or digital it's the same effect yeah, to it just depends on like, uh, I don't know, like the, what the government chooses as currency, everybody's just going to start treating that better, right? 
like for if there's like another world where p humans were some different living organisms mm -hmm. would live they probably started out with trading too mm -hmm. and then but there could be that they also use money mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. money isn't a, a value it's just like something to build things or something and so like an exchange it could well, be being an exchange and then whatever they have as value we might have that we might have a bunch of that we don't but, really uh, use, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. And they have a bunch of barter. money that they don't use, right? And we can barter. We yes. can exchange. We can work. exchange. Oh wow, we we went left and right with the topic. What I got from Alex, uh, and I mean, he says not all ten ten year olds, which well, he doesn't know because we don't they don't talk about money. But his opinion is that money is needed to get you certain things, but there are other things like being playful and social, right? Yes. That brings you um, a lot of joy as well, and those are free often, right? Often, right? Yes, yes. Being playful or being social, not always. It doesn't have to cost you much as far as money goes. So thank you for your opinion on money. It's a very big topic. Money, how it's connected to the ego. In my opinion, it's very connected to the ego, right? And the material things that it buys and collects and 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 likes itself better with more things. The ego, right? Um, thank you Alex for joining us for this 15 minutes and giving us this perspective from a 10 year old. We're going to get together next weekend where we're going to have another 15 minutes of Mind Triumph Talk. Until then, and what we say is less ego and a lot more joy. Okay. Thanks Alex. Less ego and a lot more joy. Yeah, isn't it good? Good? Yeah, yeah. it's much better. Less ego and a lot more joy. Ciao. Thanks buddy. Bye. <laughs> That was awesome.